Hi class, it's Mrs. Lawson. I'm so glad that you've joined me today to do some subtraction. In math class today, we are looking at subtracting 10 from a number. It's so easy. I know you're going to do amazing. Sometimes when we look at our 100s chart, we look at one more than a number or one less. For instance, if we were to look at the number 35, we know that one more would be the next number, 36, or one less would be the number before it, 34. We've also looked at these numbers and thought, hmm, what would be 10 more than 35? Or what would be 10 less than 35? Whenever we did 10 less than, that was subtracting 10 from a number. So you already know how to do this. Let's take a look at some numbers on our chart. The first one that I want to look at is the number 16. If we took 10 away from 16, what number would we have? What is 10 less than 16? You're right. It's 6. What about the number 47? What's 10 less than 47? Or 47 take away 10. You're right, it would be 37. What about the number 34? What would be 34 take away 10? Or 10 less than 34? You're right, it would be 24. And then 66 is our last one. If we took 10 away from 66, what number would that be? It's just right above it on the hundreds chart. It would be 56. Your 100s chart is a great tool for you to use when you're subtracting or adding 10 to a number. If we're subtracting, the answer is the number right above it. If we were subtracting 10 from 45, we would look above. It would be 35. If we were adding 10 to a number, it would be the number right underneath of it. So when you are adding or subtracting 10 from a number, you could use your hundreds chart to help you. Class, we could think about this in another way. Sometimes we count by 10. Sometimes we count by going up and sometimes we count by going down. Let's try that. Hmm. We'll start really easy. We'll start at the number 10 and we'll count by 10. Let's do it together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. When we were counting, we were adding 10 each time. Can you do it backwards? Let's try. 190, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. When we were counting backwards, we were subtracting 10 from the number every time. Let's try a different number. Let's start with the number four. Four. And we're going to count by 10 starting at four. Four, 14, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94. When we were counting by 10, we were adding 10 to the number each time. Can you do it backwards? Let's try. 94, 84, 74, 64, 54, 44, 34, 24, 14, 4. When we were counting backwards, we were subtracting 10 from the number each time. I know that you're going to be great at subtracting 10 from a number. Are you ready to do some subtraction today? 
I bet you that you're going to be great at this because we've practiced it a lot on our hundreds chart. Today, we're going to be subtracting 10 from a number. Let's try one on the board. The first number that I'm going to write down is the number 24. And I'm going to subtract 10 from that. Hmm. If we were doing this on the hundreds chart, the answer would be the number that's right above 24 because that would be 10 less than 24. It's just counting backwards by 10. Do you know what it is? It's 14. One way that we can figure this out if we don't know the answer is we can look just at the ones place. We'll just look at 4 take away 0. And 4 take away 0 is 4. And then we look at the tens places. 2 take away 1 is 1. 24 take away 10 is 14. Let's try another one. 37 take away 10. Let's figure it out by just looking at the numbers in the ones place. 7 take away 0. If we have 7 and we don't take anything away, it's just going to be 7. If we have 3 and take away 1, it will be 2. So our answer is 27. 37 take away 10 is 27. Let's do a, an easy one. 14 take away 10. Remember that our minus sign, or the subtraction sign, it just says take away. So if we have 14 and we take away 10, our answer is going to be 4. Because if we look at our places, just looking at the ones place, we have 4. We don't take anything away. Our answer will be 4. And when we go over to the tens place, we have 1 take away 1. And that's going to be 0. We don't have to put anything down there. 14 take away 10 is 4. Let's try a really large number. What about 75? I'm going to write 75 on the board. And then I'm going to put my minus sign or my subtraction sign and I'm going to take away 10. 75 take away 10. Maybe you can think about it and you know on your hundreds chart what number would be right above 75. So you already know the answer. If not, we can figure it out. Let's look at our ones place. 5 take away 0. Well, that's easy. It's 5. 7 take away 1. 7 take away 1 is easy. That's 6. 75 take away 10 is 65. Good job. I think that we should try another big number because you did great with that one. Let's try something in the 90s. 93. 93 take away 10. Maybe you already know because you know how to count by tens backwards. But if you're not quite sure, let's just look at our ones place. 3, take away 0. We're not going to take anything away. It's 3. And 9, take away 1, is 8. 93, take away 10, is 83. Good for you. Class, you did an amazing job subtracting 10 from a number today. I'm very proud of you. Good job. Wow, I'm going to let you practice subtracting 10 from a number. I hope you have a great day. 
Bye-bye.